Hey everybody, Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. Today we're taking a look at a motorhome that I would guess a lot of people don't even know these things exist. Um, it's a 2001 Safari Trek. Now Safari is a great company with a great name to back them up. Um, they were tied in with Monaco and with Beaver right when they were making these things really, really well right up the street in the Junction City area. Um, but built incredibly well, um, really high quality stuff and a really neat form factor. This is a, a 2830 model, so um, it's a 28 footer and a class A and you can see, I mean, you can see at the end here, it's not, it's not a huge rig, but you get the, the pluses of being small like a class C with a lot of the benefits that you get from a class A. So it's, it's a really cool one, someone that maybe hasn't found a class C floor plan that they like. This might be a great option for you, or if you're just looking for a shorter class A, it's a great option for you. Um, it's a fiberglass front cap, um, can't delam on that, all fiberglass, really well built. Um, full body paint on this rig as well, something Safari did, so you're not going to see checking or peeling on any of the paint on this thing. This is a 2001, it, it's still looking pretty dang good. Um, the fiberglass they used was all hand laid on these as well, so if you can get a good look down the side, it might be better on that side actually, but um, stays super straight. They're incredibly well insulated. They have a vacuum sealed styrofoam on the inside. Um, so just do a really good job, and, and especially here in the Pacific Northwest, they're kind of set up for this. Um, for this kind of weather up here. Um, you can't really see the motor here. You have more access to it from the inside, but it's a six liter Chevy Vortec motor. In my opinion, one of the best gas motors um, that you can get on the market. You know, um, I would say the best, but I think the 8.1 liter is probably a little bit better, but not necessary in something this small. So um, six liter um, Chevy Vortec motor. It's a great engine, great low end torque, um, and the reliability of them is great. They have a long longevity too. They put those things in the, the H2 Hummers um, and do a lot of big service trucks and a lot of those Chevy trucks with that motor you'll see have three, four hundred thousand miles on them um, and it's not odd. You'll see a lot of them. If you don't believe me, go on Marketplace and look up a Chevy 2500 with a six liter. You'll see a lot of stuff with 300k on it still selling for 15 grand. Um, but yeah, all fiberglass down the side. You have the basements down below like you have on a class A again, but it's a class, you know, it's more of a class C kind of size so just a really neat thing there um, nice michelin tires there you are a dually in the back i did not bring a barrel key i apologize you have a 4000 watt uh, onan gas generator in here um, storage there here we just have our power connections and you can get a better look at the storage that i can't open um, if you take a peek in that way but all plastic lined, so it's really easy to keep clean. That has drain ports, so if it gets dirty in there, you can literally just come out here with the hose and spray it out. Um, super duper handy there. Here we just have storage for your uh, sewage hose. Um, nice exhaust pipe with a nice little finish there. Um, the gas tank is right here with a locking nozzle on it. Oop, this one's open, so I can show you this. Here is your wash bay. Um, this is something I love to point out. Only a few manufacturers did this. It was the ones that I had already mentioned, Monaco, Beaver, and Safari. This is a valve system for the entirety of the rig, which I think is really neat. So for example, let's say you are um, out boondocking in the middle of the woods and you have a leak at your shower head. And by having your water pump on, it's gonna continue to leak. What you can do is come in here and isolate that one valve that's leaking and continue to use the rig on the rest of your trip until you're at a place where you can go ahead and repair that so super handy thing um, I always say beaver and safari because they're so similar the engineers that made these things it always seemed like they actually had the customer in mind which you can't say about a lot of motorhomes so um, a lot of things are easy to get to like your low point drain easy to get to water pumps everything like that it's just super handy um, I wish they were still making these things I'd be able to sell a lot more of them um, back here I honestly can't say I know what the space is for. These are your T-valves for your hydraulic leveling system that you have, so you could release them if you needed to. Not something that's gonna sell the rig, but good to know if you own it, um, that's where your T-valves are. We got a beautiful piece of artwork up top with a, it looks like a snow leopard sitting on a big old perch in, uh, I don't know, I don't know where they're from. Let's say uh, in the Himalayan somewhere. Yeah, we'll go with that, good enough. Um, got the nice rock guard, so if you are towing something behind you, you don't need to go pay for another one. Keep the rock chips off your tow vehicle. Here we have the exhaust for our water heater. It's a gas and electric water heater, a 10 gallon tank. Again, I just can't say enough about the fiberglass finish and the paint on this thing, how well it stands the test of time. Um, you have some outlets here. Uh, nice manual awning, probably about 12 feet or so. 
and good windows all the way around. Um, again, I apologize, my storage bays are locked. I did not bring a key, so we'll go right inside. So mid door entry, right as you walk in is where your disconnect is, just as it should be. Again, logical rig, they did a great job with these things. And then again, right as you walk in, controls for water heater, for your tanks, your gen set, starting your gen, water pump, lights, everything's right here, which is just, it may not seem like a big deal, but it's so simple and so helpful to have these things right as you enter the rig. Um, this guy lowers down so you don't have a gap in the middle of your floor when you're in somewhere for a while. We have a table that seats two and leaves out to seat more. Um, leaf is in the back there, so you could potentially seat four in here. Again, this is a non-slide rig, so when you're traveling down the road, this is your form factor. Um, and it's just really nice when you get somewhere, whether you're two or four people, it's just a small rig that gives you good ceiling height, good space in here. Um, Dometic fridge, oh, oh, pardon me, it's a, yeah, Dometic fridge, gas and electric, um, so two-way fridge, I think it's about six or seven cubic feet. I'm terrible at telling, but gas and electric, that's the way to go. Um, coming towards the cockpit, something I love about the Vortec motors that they do that the, the Fords do not do is the doghouse here is so much lower. Um, whereas on the Ford, sometimes they'll come up really high and it makes it a hassle to get to your driver's seat. Whereas with this one being so low, it's just nice and easy to drag your feet across. You're not having to lift them up to get here. Um, and it's scooted pretty far forward right now, but still. Um, but again, it's it's like a class C in size, but look at the visibility you get. You got 180 degrees or more of visibility out here, which I always say is a huge plus with the class A's. And on top of that, you're right on top of your front axle like a class A, because you are a class A. Um, and it just makes steering this wheel and feeling the direction of the rig so much easier being right on top of that axle. Um, so really nice setup there really easy access to everything you might need your generator backup camera battery boost cargo lights um, your fans for here you can switch the music between house power and chassis power um, this has been updated with the explode by sony um, so you have multiple disc changer here um, new head unit and then some really big speakers throughout this rig so a really good uh, stereo system here um, and just a really comfortable seating position um, which every Chevy I've ever sat in is pretty dang comfortable. So I guess I can't say I'm surprised, but you also get a nice dash up front. If you maybe have a dog with you, I think that's a beautiful place to keep your dog so that he or she can enjoy the drive just as much as you do. And then you got the CB in case you're somewhere without reception, you need to flag somebody down, or you just like talking to those nice truckers on the road. Those good fellas keep this country running. Um, both these seats do swivel. Um, again, another plus of having something class A versus class C. They swivel around and you don't lose all this space um, to cabin space. You can use it as more seating. Um, updated flat screen here. I do have to point out, you know, um, because you can't quite tell in videos, but all this, uh, this wood trim on these things, on these safaris, it's all solid wood. This looks like it's all a, a maple, uh, like a really clear maple, no knots in it but it's all solid wood. It's not just a veneer on top of MDF like they do in all these current day rigs. Um, couch here, very comfortable. Um, it is a pleather, not a true leather. That's why it's not cracked and wrinkled. Um, as much as I like leather, this, ten, this uh, stands up a lot better throughout time. Uh, so that'll pull out into a bed, and then you're probably wondering where the main bed is. Um, that is right above us here. So I don't, I don't have it turned on to run it down, but um, this bed actually lowers down to here um, and it, it'll come down to about mid thigh for me. So it makes it really nice and easy to get in and out. Um, if that's difficult for you, a small step's gonna make it really easy, but uh, the benefit of it, you get this big living space um, in a 20, you know, eight foot rig. Um, and then you can keep your bed made, lower it down, and it's just a bedroom when it needs to be in a living room when you need it to be. Um, the kitchen. Tons of counter space. Again, I can't say it enough. This thing is 28 feet, but a ton of counter space in here. You got a double den, stainless steel sink, three burner stove by Atwood, uh, microwave convection oven. You got the hood fan with the light underneath it here. Again, the cabinetry on this thing, all solid wood. Really good storage in here. Um, GCFI there in the corner for any bigger appliances that you need. I mean, shoot, even your paper towel rack is made of solid woods. Um, just something you don't see nowadays. So, so really, really neat. Um, great storage down below. Big, deep storage for big pots, pans, cast irons, whatever you're bringing with you. 
and then eight big cabinets or uh, drawers, whatever you want to call them, uh, for just all the other things that you bring with you. Nice little spot for a wet bar. Obviously, you can use this however you want, but um, opposed from the kitchen, looks like the right space for a, a few bottles and mixers. Keep some nice glasses up here, and then you can host a little party in this thing. Um, and then this is, in my mind, one of the biggest benefits of these treks. The way they're put together, you get this rear bath. So again, you're 28 feet, but my goodness, this is a bigger bathroom than you'll get in a lot of 45 foot pushers. Um, so great size shower, um, really big. You know, I can fit in here easily, get my arms up, out. I, I'll just keep repeating myself. You are a 28 foot motorhome and you got this much room in the bathroom. Um, again, extra counter space at your vanity. Um, extra storage and medicine cabinets, his, hers, and extra. Um, big tall mirror here against the porcelain commode. I always point out the porcelain because that makes a big difference to me. And like these counters, it's all Corian type counter, just really well constructed. And then you have this big closet back here, which can be kind of your main storage. You use it however you like, but, but a huge closet back here as well as more storage here. So, I mean, really no lack of storage. Bathroom kind of becomes your wardrobe, but that's fine. This is where you get clean. This is where you change your clothes. So it works out well. Um, and they have all these soft clothes deals there. So they're not going to be flying open on you, but just general construction on these things, trying to compare it to a present day rig. It's not fair. Um, they built them so darn well. Um, you know, what? I'm actually going to keep it short and leave it at that. Um, thank you guys for checking this rig out. Again, it's a 2001 Safari Trek uh, 2830 uh, with the six liter Vortec and it is the wide body if you're, if you're looking this thing up. So um, if you're interested, I don't see a lot of these things anymore. So I'm happy to have one. Um, if this is something that you're interested in, please reach out to me. Um, if it's something you're just finding out about, please reach out to me. I'll tell you all about them. I know these rigs really, really well um, and they have a good track record to back them up. So um, thank you all for checking out this video and uh, Hopefully I'll see you here. Have a good day.